so I have here my battery made up of many cells and I've just got two lamps. And at the moment, when I connect them up, they are in series. And because both of these lamps are approximately the same, they are shining at the same brightness. What we're gonna be looking at is the current in this series circuit and also the potential difference. So in order to investigate the current, what I have are some ammeters. So what we have here are now three ammeters. We've got one before the first cell, between the cells, and then one after that as well. Now the reason that it's got a negative symbol rather than positive is just due to the way that the battery is arranged. If asked to take the leaves out and swap them around, we'd get a positive value, but that doesn't really matter. What we're really looking at are the size of the values. So we've got 0 0.06, 0 0.06, and this one here, uh, is 0 0.06, occasionally it flickers up to 0 0.07, which again is due to the accuracy of the instruments that we're using. But uh, basically what we can see is that we have the same current here, here and here in the circuit. And that's what we find if you have a series circuit, we have the same current everywhere in that circuit. We can also investigate the potential difference and I'm just going to rearrange the circuit and put in some voltmeters for that. So this time I'm going to put a voltmeter across each of my lamps here. Uh, so what we're doing is we, we always attach a voltmeter in parallel. Uh, I'm also going to attach a voltmeter in parallel across the battery. So hopefully you can just about see that as well. Now um, it doesn't really matter which colour leads that we're using, but I'm going to be using red leads for this. So now that's connected up, what we have are negative values. That doesn't really matter, it's the size of the value that we're interested in. Um, it's just due to the way that uh, the cells are arranged. If we were to, again, turn this around the other way, we'd have positive values. Um, what we have across the whole battery pack, so um, the, the voltage or the, P, uh, the potential difference of this circuit is about 5.77 volts. And actually what we find is that in a series circuit, that potential difference is shared across the components. So we've got about 3.5 there and 2.3. So that means that these components aren't identical, they're similar, but what we're finding is that this value added to this value make this value over here. So what we find in a series circuit is that the potential difference is shared between the components. And although um, these aren't the most accurate values, and again, there's some resistance to the wire and other things, uh, what we can see is that roughly this value added to this value equals this value up here.